Thank you for choosing Deco Replacement Tensioner 89260. This tensioner is designed and manufactured by Deco to meet and in many cases exceed the performance requirements of the original equipment manufacturer's tensioner on the application shown. Here are a few installation tips about this tensioner. Our featured vehicle for this installation is a 1997 Ford F-150 with a 4.2 liter V6 engine. The tools needed for this job include a Torx T50 star socket, a 15 millimeter socket wrench, a breaker bar, and a torque wrench. The first step is to set your vehicle's parking brake and disconnect the battery. By removing the radiator cover and air cleaner, this will provide additional room to access the tensioner assembly. First release tension on the belt by using a 15 millimeter socket wrench with a breaker bar. Rotate the tensioner arm counterclockwise to relieve tension on the belt. Once the tension is removed, you may safely remove the belt from the belt drive system. To remove the old tensioner, Begin by removing the bolt using a Torx T50 star socket. When the bolt is free, remove the tensioner. As you can see, the original tensioner has signs of corrosion. There is free rock in the pulley, which could be a sign of bearing wear. For this installation, you will reuse the original bolt from the removed tensioner. Before installing your new Deco tensioner, clean the mounting surface on the engine with a light abrasive sandpaper or abrasive pad. Excessive buildup of oxidation or other foreign material on the engine's tensioner mounting surface may cause an uneven surface for the new tensioner, resulting in misalignment. Misalignment is the number one cause of belt noise. When installing the new tensioner, locate the pinholes on the bracket and position the tensioner into the mounting holes. The tensioner locator pins will orientate the tensioner in a proper position for belt installation. While supporting the tensioner assembly, manually rotate the bolt into the bracket on the mounting surface. Now tighten the bolt with your Torx T50 star socket until it is snug. Deco recommends tightening the bolt to 35 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. Before reinstalling your belt, take time to check all pulleys for free rock, noise, or roughness. Some free rock is good, but not an excessive amount. When the pulley spins, there should be a slight drag which shows that some grease is still present and the seals are intact. In this instance, we found excessive free rock on two pulleys and will replace both as part of this job. Use a Torx T50 star socket to remove both pulleys from the drive belt system. Again, keep your bolt to reuse when installing your new pulleys. As you can see, grease splatter on this original pulley indicates grease has escaped the sealed bearing. All pulleys will purge some grease over time, but not an excessive amount. Begin installation of the new pulleys by manually turning the bolt while supporting the pulley. Tighten the bolt with your Torx T50 star socket until it is snug. Deco recommends tightening the bolt to 35 foot-pounds with a torque wrench and doing this for both pulleys. With your new components installed, check the pulleys for misalignment using a Deco laser alignment tool. Deco laser tools are available in the Deco belt diagnostic kit, which also includes belt wear gauges and a tension gauge. Remember, when replacing the tensioner or pulleys, replacing the belt may save you time and money in the future. Follow the routing guide on the back of the Deco Poly Rib belt sleeve for correct belt routing. After your new belt is installed, reconnect the battery and have an assistant bump the engine to make sure the serpentine belt is on all accessories correctly. It is important to verify that all ribs are aligned with the drive. Having the belt installed with one rib off may run for a while, but will lead to belt failure. If satisfactory, run the engine for a few minutes to seat the belt. Reinstall the shrouds and air cleaner and the tensioner installation is complete. 